Wait a second, wait a second. I killed how many people? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Dynasty Warrior style games. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin off channel, Mojo Plays, for in depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays, game smarter. For this list, we'll be taking a look at the Warriors or Musu-like games and seeing which are the best of the best. The game must either reside within the Dynasty Warriors franchise or contain enough similarities to the Hack and Slash series. Yeah. Number 10, Dynasty Warriors, Gundam Reborn. <laughs> The Gundam series has quite the immersive universe to say the least, making it a perfect series to utilize the Mosu genre. The fourth entry in this Dynasty Warriors spin-off acts less like a new entry and more of a collection of everything that made this game adaptation series so great. With a roster of over a hundred different mobile suits taken from various universes, it has something to make almost any Gundam fan happy. With a story also spanning decades of Gundam battles, and keeping in mind the scope of them, Gundam Reborn remains one of the most enjoyable Gundam games out there. Number 9, Dynasty Warriors 3. It may be the third entry, but Dynasty Warriors 3 acted more as a remake to Dynasty Warriors 2 than a proper sequel, but that isn't necessarily a terrible thing bringing in new characters, new stages, new weapons, and the addition of a two-player mode to top it off. Dynasty Warriors 3 is also the first in the series to bring expansions in, starting with the Extreme Legends expansion, which would add plenty more content in the form of new features, new modes, new characters, new stages, and new weapons. Number 8, Dynasty Warriors 8, Extreme Legends Complete Edition. <laughs> With 14 years of Dynasty Warriors and several spin-off series, Omega Force brought in mechanics and features from their side series to give the newest chapter in the series a new lease on life. And with the complete edition, the series was brought into the current generation with surprisingly beautiful graphics and added expansion content to boot. Despite many years passing, the core gameplay is still relatively the same, but thanks to the new affinity system, it mirrored a rock-paper-scissors style strategy that changed the formula up enough to warrant greater experimentation and time sinking than its predecessors. Number 7, One Piece, Pirate Warriors 3. As the third and final entry in the Pirate Warrior series so far, this certainly was a fantastic swan song. Taking all the gameplay features implemented in Pirate Warriors 2, boasting an even larger roster, and covering most of the One Piece storyline, even past the time skip, this is a game well suited for both newcomers and One Piece fans alike. The cutscenes that pop up in battle might be a bit jarring, but the fast-paced gameplay still manages to stay on track with supports adding explosive combo supers to the mix. We may never find out what the One Piece actually is, but the game sure is a treasure. <laughs> Number 6, Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. <laughs> While Dynasty Warriors may be Omega's primary franchise, a lesser known series told a different Eastern tale, as Samurai Warriors the two came to cross over in the Warriors Orochi series, with Orochi 3 Ultimate as the penultimate version. Aside from having a great Warriors experience, servicing fans not just with their favorite characters of both series, it goes the extra mile by not making them play like their respective titles' counterparts. It's a rare sight to see both story and gameplay cross over, which is what makes this one such a treat. <laughs> Number 5, Dynasty Warriors 2. Taco's troops have overtaken us! The Warriors, or Mosu genre we know today, didn't actually start with the first, but the second entry in the Dynasty Warrior series. A great departure from the original. Dynasty Warriors 2 took the concept a massive step further, changing the gameplay from a fighter to a giant hack and slash. It also introduced the gaming scene to fighting multiple enemies on a much larger scale. The graphics and gameplay are a bit dated, but this entry can't be ignored for starting a brand new genre all on its own. Number 
Number four, Fire Emblem Warriors. After the success Omega Force had with Nintendo's Legend of Zelda series, they were granted another Nintendo license to bring their signature large-scale battles and crazy power moves to Fire Emblem. This one drew a bit more of a mixed reaction at the idea, as Zelda was already kind of an action-focused game, but Fire Emblem was a strategy game first and foremost. Of course, these doubts were put to rest at the showcase of gameplay. Getting to see our favorite heroes from the series gather together and fight in real time was a definite treat. We took out most of the troops who broke into the temple. Number three, Attack on Titan. Speed of Sokaku Matsugai Nasta! Matsugai Nai! There might not be a large quantity of enemies here, but the enemies themselves certainly make up for their lack of numbers in their size. Based on the critically acclaimed series of the same name, Attack on Titan is hailed as one of the most faithful gameplay adaptations. Though the game may not have as many elements as other Mosu games, the basic setup is kept intact with a morale meter, super moves, and a combination of strategic and hack and slash gameplay. And come on, after seeing the anime, who wouldn't want to get a taste of the 3D maneuver gear, right? <laughs> Number 2, Hyrule Warriors. It's not very often that you get to see a third-party developer handling a Nintendo franchise, and honestly, who can blame them? So it came as a surprise to many when Omega Force was handling not just a new Zelda game, but a Zelda and Warriors mix. What came as a result was a more simplified Warriors game that acted as a great introduction to Mozu titles, while giving Zelda fans a bombastic and enthralling new adventure, with over-the-top action that didn't feel too out of place. Not only did this game help renew interest in the Warriors series, but it also gave new hope for third parties to tackle other Nintendo franchises in the future. Number 1, Dynasty Warriors 4. Our forces will engage the enemy. Several new modes, two expansions, and the ability to create your own character, Dynasty Warriors 4 packed enough content to still be seen as one of the best games in the series over a decade later. Straying away from the historical novel that the franchise had been based off, that proved to work in the game's favor as it offered fresh new narrative set pieces while still continuing to refine the gameplay that the series is known for. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.